Zoho invoice tutorial how to use Zoho invoice for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna give you a tutorial on Zoho invoice how you can get started with your own business and keep track of your expenses create professional invoices and much more so let's get into it first of all you're gonna go to zoho.com slash invoice and it will take you to this free invoicing software for small businesses Zoho Invoice is an online invoicing software that helps you craft professional invoices, send payment reminders, keep track of expenses and log your work hours and get paid faster. So this is what they say. This is the website. So in order to get started, you will actually have to create your own account. Creating an account is really easy. You can see uh, we have the sign up option where you have to enter your full name, select your email address, enter your password and add your company name. Here you will just click on I agree to terms of services and then we have sign up for free. Uh, we can also sign up with our Google account, Yahoo, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or Windows. So what I will do is I will just simply log in to my Zoho invoice. After the initial sign up or sign in, this is where you will land. You can see this is our invoice.zoho.eu. So uh, this is where we get, this is our main dashboard. So at this side of the screen, you'll be able to see we have home, then we have customers, items, then we have estimates, invoices, sales receipts, payment received, then we have expenses, we have timesheets and reports. We will select any of these options and create a new item or an invoice. So first of all, we'll create a new customer. Go to the customer section here, click on create new customer. So here we have to select the customer type. Uh, it is actually going to be an individual primary contact. So it's going to be Mr. and first name. So in first name, I'm just going to enter the name here. And then we have to enter a company name. Then we have to enter a customer display name. So these are some of the names. So I'm going to go with this one. And then we have customer email. Then we have to enter a customer phone here and mobile number. Then we have the website option. So in website, we will enter any of the website they have. In other details, we have currency, we have tax rate, payment terms, enable portal, portal language, Facebook, Twitter, and we can also add their social media. So this is the other detail here. I can switch to the address and enter their email, uh, billing address here. Then we have a contact person. So if you want to add a, another contact person here, you can add it. Then we have custom fields and remarks. So once you have added all of the details, you click on save and your new customer is created on Zoho. So you can see once the customer is created, now I can actually do a lot with the contact. We will be able to add a new estimate or an invoice with the quick option given here. We will be able to see all of the comments, transactions, mails, and statements. At the top, we have edit option, we have attach file, and new transactions. In new transactions, we have invoices, estimates, expenses, recurring expenses, sales receipts, and more. So this is going to be a quick view to add an invoice or an estimate. But we also can switch to these invoices or estimate and create one. So let's create an item first and then we will move on to the invoice section. To create an item, you're going to click on new. In new, we have to give our item a name. So it is actually a service. Let's give it the name of online service. Then we have to select the units. So the unit here is going to be pieces here. Then we have selling price. So the selling price is going to be in my currency that I have selected here. And it's going to be 1000. Then we have a description for now. I'm just going to write the word test. And then we can add our text as well. Click on save and a new item will be created. Now we can move on to the invoice section. Go to the invoice and then we will click on new invoice. Creating an invoice is really easy. First, we have to enter the customer name. So this is where you will select any of the customer that you have. That is why we created this customer. So I'm going to add this customer that we just added. Then we have to enter uh, the invoice number. So the invoice number is actually generated uh, according to Zoho invoice. How many invoices you have actually created here. So uh, it's going to be one here. Then we have an order number. So this is where you will enter the order number from your store. After that, we have invoice date. So you will enter the date here. I'm going to select today's and we have due on receipt. So then we have to enter a due date. So due end of the month. Uh, so this is going to be the date and I can also customize the dates according to my due date. Then we have a salesperson. So in salesperson, you will enter the salespersons that you have added on your invoice. Here we can add our team member. Then we have a subject. So for the subject of this invoice that I'm creating, I will just go with a new invoice. This is my, uh, you know, title for now, my subject, but you can go for any subject you want to. After that, we have to enter the item. So I have selected uh, one line here and in items, I will add the online services. 
Uh, so this is the one that I have created and it also shows me the description. The quantity is going to be one, but I can actually, you know, add more. For instance, there were actually two of these. So I'm going to go with two here. The rate is this and this is going to be the total amount. We can add more items here and enter the, you know, quantity and it will be uh, summed up right here. So at the bottom, we have a subtotal for the invoice. You can see the discount. If you are giving any discount, you can add it here. The shipping charges, adjustments, and it will show you the total invoice billing right here. For now, I'm not going to add any of the shipping uh, or discount rates. Then we have some of the terms and condition. If you want to go for these, you can enter the terms and conditions right here. You can upload the file. And then we have how to get uh, paid faster. This is where you will enter your payment gateway with Zoho Invoice. You can add easy payment gateways and accept payments with your master or visa card. Then we have add new. So again, we have some of the details. Click on save and send. And this invoice will be sent to that email address that you have added to the customer that you created. Or for now, I'm just going to click on save and we can move on to the estimate. So this is how you create an invoice on Zoho. You can see. This is the invoice preview. It looks very good, super professional. We can also print it and send it online. So you can see this is the due, the total, the amount. And in minutes, you can create very high quality invoices for free using Zoho Invoice. Then you have the estimate option as well. Creating estimate is quite similar. Just go to the estimate option here. Click on create new and enter the details. So you will enter a customer first. Then you have to enter the estimate number reference estimate date salesperson project name subject details you will enter all of the items here and it will show you the subtotal click on save and send and the estimate will also be sent to uh, that person before the invoice or you can click on save and as a draft so creating an invoice estimate is uh, an expense is actually very similar uh, and uh, they can be created very easily then we have at the end we have a report option so in report, I will be able to check all of the reports according to my, uh, you know, sales, what are the different summaries, different stats, different payouts, estimates, details, invoice details, everything will be shown right here in the report section. So this is how it looks like Zoho invoice. You can see a very easy to use platform for free that allows you to create high quality professional invoices you can use zoho mail for any kind of business especially for a small business this is a perfect platform and of course there is no payment method so this actually makes it uh, very useful for us we are also getting a quick create option at the top here so you can see quick create where again we can create all of these different uh you know things we have sales in sales we have sales recipients customer payments and then we have estimates customers and in purchases we have expenses and recurring expenses too so go ahead and check out Zoho Invoice for free for your small business and meet your ultimate invoicing needs. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.